I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank my viewers and subscribers for posting excellent questions. We are going to solve all these questions based on operations of rational numbers in this particular video. So we'll take up an example where we'll add and then divide, right? We'll also take combination of subtract, add and divide by rational numbers. You need to review integers and whatever you learn in fractions to do this exercise. So that's kind of important. You can actually pause the video, copy the questions, try them out and then check with my solution. So this video could be a bit long but you will get to know how to solve all these questions with the help of the solutions which I am going to give you. So let's begin with the very first one which involves addition and division. Right. So evaluate 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5 divide by 3 over 4 plus 3 over 10. Now you have to do things in bracket first right? and then we will divide. So there are two brackets. Let's begin with the portion given here. 5 is the common denominator, so you can straight away add 3 and 2. So basically you get 3 plus 2 over 5. That is a common denominator. And on the other side, we have divide by, here the denominator is 4 and 10. So we have to get the lowest common denominator. Now between 4 and 10, 20 is the lowest common denominator. To make this 20, I will have to multiply these by 5, right? Both numerator and denominator. As far as 3 and 10 is concerned, we'll multiply by 2's. So once we do that, we get 5 times 3 as 15 divided by 20 plus 3 times 2, 6 divided by 20. Now, 3 plus 2 is 5, so we get 5 over 5 divided by, you can add 15 and 6. That gives you 21. So we get divided by 21 over 20. Now 5 over 5 is just 1. So you can write this as 1. Division and multiplication are reciprocal operations. So what we can do here is divide can be replaced by multiply and then you can flip it over. So it becomes 20 over 21. Do you see that? Now one times anything is that thing itself. So what we get here is 20 over 21 as our answer. So for the first one, that becomes the answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? Now let's do the next one. Now in this case, in the first bracket, we have 3, 6 and 8. Now what is the common denominator? It is 24, right? So you could also write this common denominator as under one line. So we could write this as 24 as our common denominator. Now to get to 24, what should I multiply 3 with? 3 should be times 8, right? So, so the first term should be multiplied by 8. So if I do that, we get 8 times 2 as 16, correct? Minus 6. This should be multiplied by what? 6 to get 24 is times 4, right? So we have to multiply both by 4. So 4 times 1 gives us 4. And here, we have to multiply 8 by 3, right? So times 3 to get 24. So what we get here is plus 15, right? Plus 15. So that is how we could actually do it in short. So we have to get 24 in the denominator. So we know 3 times 8 is 24. So we multiplied both numerator and denominator by 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 gets multiplied by 1 also. 8 times 3 is 24. 
So we'll multiply 5 also by 3. So we get all this, correct? Divided by, here the common denominator is 6, 3 times 2. Now to get 6, I have to multiply both by 2. So it becomes 5 times 2, 10. And this should be multiplied by 3. So we get minus 9. It does make sense to you. Correct? Now we could write this as 24 is the common denominator. So let's take away 4 from 16, which is 12, and adding 12 to 15 gives us 27. Divided by 10 minus 9 is 1, we get 1 over 6. Now division and multiplication are reciprocal, so we could write this as 27 over 24 times 6 over 1. And now we could simplify. We could divide both by 6. 6 times 1 is 6 and 6 times 4 is 24. So, so we get 27 times 1 which is 27 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. You see that. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. We'll follow these steps many times. So you'll be perfect in doing these operations with rational numbers. Now let's take up other examples. We had just solved this question, but here I'm repeating it for the benefit of some students. We'll adopt a different method this time. And that is, we have these two terms. Let me explain again. Now, in the first term, we have 3, 6, and 8 as our denominator. So we need to find common denominator. How do we find it? 3, 6, and 8. So, so we could divide by 3. Only two numbers get divided. 1 times 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2. 8 cannot be divided. So we'll just write it as such. Now this is ladder division method to find LCM. Now we can divide by 2. 1 is written as such. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 4 goes 2 times in 8. So the lowest common denominator is 3 times 2 times 4. Which is 6 times 4 as 24. So that is how we get our lowest common denominator. right? So, so the idea is to make all these denominators as 24. So how can we make 2 over 3 with denominator of 24? That is possible if you multiply both of them by 8, right? So multiplying numerator and denominator by the same number will not change the number. Now the next number we have is 1 over 6. To get 24, I have to multiply both by 4. Do you get it, right? And then we have plus 5 over 8. To get 24, I have to times them by 3. Do you see that? That is how we did our operation, correct? Now, all this is in the first bracket. So I've kind of explained you once again how we did it. Now, here the next bracket. We have 3 and 2 in the denominator. That's simple. We have to get 6. So 5 over 3, if I multiply both by 2, I get 6 here, minus 3 over 2. To get 6, I have to multiply them by 3. Do you see that? That is to say multiply and divide by 3, which is as good as 1. So let's do it. 2 times 8 is 16. We get 16 over 24 minus 4 over 24 plus 15 over 24. Right? So that's the first part divided by 10 over 6 minus 9 over 6. Correct? 3 times 2. Now, since 24, we have the same denominator, we can add or subtract the numerator. 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 plus 15 is 27. So, we get 27 over 24 divided by 10 minus 9 is 1. So, we get 1 over 6. Now, here we could write division as multiplication. So, we'll write 27 over 24 times 6 over 1. Do you see that? Now 6 over 1 could be simplified. 
Dividing by 6, I get 6 times 1 as 6 and 6 times 4 as 24. And therefore, I can write this as 27 times 1, which is 27, divided by 4 times 1 as 4. So I hope now it is absolutely clear. Correct? So now we'll take up questions involving multiplication and division. Here is the first one. 4 over minus 9 times minus 21 over minus 35 times minus 3 over 4. So first thing you should do is you should count number of negative signs. So in this case, how many negative signs we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 negatives, correct? Now, since this is even number, we get positive result. You get that idea. So, first thing is, we'll write this as positive, right? So, all these negatives, they cancel and we get positive result. Now, since it is only multiplication, we could write it as 4 over 9 times 21 over 35 times 3 over 4. So do you notice in the first step, we have simplified and taken care of the signs. So this negative cancels with that, that cancels with this. You could see it like this. But truly speaking, you just count them. If you have even number of negatives, you get positive result. Does it make sense to you? Okay. Now the second step here is to simplify. So let me rewrite and show you how to simplify. So we have 4 over 9 times 21 over 35 times 3 over 4, right? No need to write positive, right? It is understood. Now let's, let's see how to simplify. We know 3 times 3 is 9, so we could cancel them dividing each by 3. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1, 4 times 1, they also cancel. Now, 3 can be divided it into 21. So, we get 3 times 1 and 3 times 7 as 25. 35 is a multiple of 7. So, we could also divide 7 into 35. 7 times 1 and 35 times 5. So, what do you get? After cancelling, we get in the numerator 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1 and in the denominator, the number 5. So 1 over 5 is the answer. Do you get it? So that is the answer for the given question. Now let's do a couple of questions and understand the strategy. Now in this case, again, we will count number of signs. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 negatives means positive result. So we'll write positive. Now rewrite the question. We get 12 over 28 divided by 8 over 15 times 14 over 25. Now division and multiplication are reciprocals. So we are going to flip this. So we could write this as 12 over 28 times 15 over 8 times 14 over 25. So do you notice this, that we change division to multiplication and we flipped this. So that is the change we did. And now we will do our simplification, correct? So, so what can we do? 12 and 8 both can be divided by 4. 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12. Correct? Now what? 15 and 25 we can divide both by 5. 5 times 3 and 5 times 5. How about 14 and 28? We know 14 times 1 and 14 times 2. 28 is twice 14. 
So that gives you the result. We can multiply 3, 3 and 1. 3 times 3 times 1 is 9. And 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 5 is 20. So we get 9 over 20 as our result. Is that clear? Correct? Next question. Very similar, but we have three divisions. Now when we have divisions, we have to flip them. We have to go from left to right. Perfect. But first case, let's count negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we have five negatives. That means negative result. So we could write this as negative. And now let's copy the question. We have 6 over 25. And this division will convert to multiplication and flip it. So we get 21 over 2. Then again a division will do multiplication and flip it. So we get 25 over 14. Do you understand this? So what we did was we changed divisions to multiplication and flipped. Do you see that? We flipped them. Perfect. So that is a very, very important step. So let me rewrite this. So what we did here is we kind of flipped them. So let me, let me rewrite and we'll cancel and simplify. So we have already taken care of signs and also division converted to multiplication. See how we simplify. So 25 and 25 both go one time. Clear? Now here we have 14 and 21. 7 times 3 and 7 times 2. We could also divide 6 by 2. So it's 2 times 1, 2 times 3. So what we get here is 3 times 3 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 times 2 with a negative sign. Correct? So that gives you the answer which is equal to negative. 3 times 3 is 9 over 2. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to do it. Now let's take the next one. In this case, we have two negative signs, right? So we have two negatives. That means positive result. I hope that is clear. So we could write this as positive and we'll just copy the question which is 15 over 4 times 8 over 5 divided by 6 over 5. Now we are going to change the sign from division to multiplication. So what we get here is 15 over 4 times 8 over 5 times 5 over 6. So we flipped it. Do you see that? So when we change the sign, we flipped it, it's 5 over 6. And now we are going to simplify. So 5 divided by 5, both goes one time, correct? Now 4 goes 2 times in 8, 4 times 1 is 4. As far as 6 is concerned, we could divide this by 2, getting us 3. And then we could divide 15 by 3. 3 times 1 and 3 times 5. That gives you 5 times 1 times 1 in the numerator and 1 times 1 times 1 in the denominator. So the answer is 5. Is that clear, right? So it's that simple. Let me take few more to complete our list which I shared with you right in the beginning. Negative signs are 2, so the result is positive. Then we have 5 over 2 times. When you do times, flip it. So we get 3 over 10 times 8 over 3. Now we have to cancel. 3s can be cancelled. 5 goes 2 times, correct? Now 2 times 4 is 8. And this 2 also goes 2 times. So what we get here as 2, our answer. So this is how we should do it. So it's actually very simple. Just remember two steps. As far as integers are concerned, count the number of negative signs. If they are odd, so if we have odd number of negative sign, 
result is negative. But if we have even number of negative signs, result is positive. That is main thing which you should remember. Second, division should be changed into multiplication with its reciprocal, correct? So the second thing which you learn is replace division by multiplication and reciprocal of the rational number. So if you follow these two strategies, you should be in a position to solve any rational number operation as we discuss. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.